hello. Gosh, look how bright it is again. I had this all adjusted, you guys. Hi. There, see, that's me. I'm just trying to get the light so you can see. I guess that's okay. Hi, I am Tammy Neff, and you are on my page called Tammy Loves, and I am here to show you how to color some Easter eggs, how to paint some Easter eggs. I had done these, um, just a quick little bonusy sort of thing in my craft club, and um, I showed you guys when it was all done, and I've had a few of you asking me um, how we did it. If they were stickers, are they stamps? Did you hand paint it? How did you, how did you do it? So <clears throat> I didn't take the time to boil any more eggs and blow them out, and I didn't go buy any, you know, any other um, fake eggs or whatever, but, um, because some of those, well, let me, let me grab them for you and I can show you. Some of the eggs, um, I did blow out like this one, see the hole in the top and in the bottom. Okay. But then like this one, I didn't, they had paintable eggs at either Hobby Lobby or Joann's or one of those stores. Um, and I was able to um, buy a couple cartons of those. So anyway, we painted those in our craft club and they were just white. Do I have any white ones? On? Yeah, here's a white one. So this was how they came, just plain white like that. And they're weighted really nicely. They're weighted just like a like a hollow egg. They're, they're, the weight of them is perfect and the texture and really they feel like they could just crack. God, that lighting is terrible. I'm just not sure what to do about it. I watch everybody fight it. It's not just me, I know, but still. How can I? It must be my overhead light. So I'm going to tip you guys down here in a minute when I'm painting, and I'll let you um, watch me do it. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of lives. I have been sick for like three weeks. Hopefully you guys can hear it in me and you realize I'm not just kidding. But uh, yesterday I started, I've been on my second round of antibiotics. It's daggone if I didn't start coughing yesterday and almost like start completely over again. So I don't know what the heck's wrong with me. <laughs> I'm never sick, so I'm getting it all at once here. So anyway, um, so I'm gonna show you how to paint some of these. I'm gonna use my regular eggs. I think that shouldn't hurt anything. If I drop them, I'm gonna have a mess though. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just paint some. I'm gonna dry them real quickly and show you how I finish them with the marker. So again, my name is Tammy Neff. I'm not sure I finished that, but my page is called Tammy Loves and I bring to you a lot of the things that I love. And um, this was one of the projects that we did in our craft club. And uh, I just happened to show the finished product and a lot of you guys were reaching out to me and messaging me and asking about them. So let's get started. It won't take very long at all. Let me, um, let's see here. Let me figure out how to get you down. Okay. All right, so now I've got you down here where you can see my, kind of my workspace. Okay, right? Yeah, I'll go up here a little bit. You're a little bit far from me, but anyway, that we should be able to be okay. All right, so I have my eggs from my fridge. These are, like I can cook them for breakfast tomorrow if I wanted to, and <laughs> I did not hard boil these. But it's the same idea and I'll put these here if you guys, you know, want to, well, I've already posted them, so you can look back at them. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd show you really quick. So I just have our Country Chic paint from the shop. Um, I have a little store called Tammy Loves, and we have um, paints there. And I probably should have grabbed a different green. Oh, well. This is our pink. This is a purple wedding cake color. They call it wedding cake. Um, I have icicle. Okay, all right, so let's just go with those for tonight. So I'm just putting them in a meat tray. I'm gonna spray a little bit of water because you really want it to kind of be like a watercolor. So I'm just spritzing some water here in the pan. It'll just pull out however. And um, if you guys wanna mix your little puddles of paint with water and all that, you can do that. It does not matter, it doesn't hurt a thing. I'm looking for the brush that I might wanna use. <coughs> Should have grabbed a paper towel, woulda, shoulda, coulda. <laughs> um, but so I'm just gonna use this um, kind of a, let's see if it says its number on here. I'm not very good with um, this kind of stuff, not really. It's a number 10 if that tells you anything. Um, but it's a fairly thick 
um, fairly thick, like here would be a thin just to compare, um, to give you that idea. Let's see, where can you see that at? There, like that. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna use the thicker one and I'm just gonna come in here with the pink. I'm dipping into the paint, then I'm dipping into the water beside. All right, and then I'm just going to plop down and make the shape of a flower. Right, right like that, you guys, that's it. Okay, so there's your flower. A little bit wonky maybe, so you make another petal, you get your petals out there wherever it looks like a, <coughs> excuse me, like a petal. And then, boy, I wish I'd have grabbed a couple of other colors, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with this anyway. So I'm gonna lay that there, and then I need to grab another, um, another one here. So let's, I wish I'd have grabbed the purple, or the yellow and a brighter green. But so I'm just gonna dab the purple. <coughs> when I did these, I did let the eggs dry before I moved on. Let me turn the light up a little bit more now that I've got you down here. Is that better or worse? Tell you what, this light was very expensive. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I love it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm not looking at your comments so that I can keep going, um, but I'll come back and answer any questions that I see, okay? I'm afraid I'm gonna start coughing with all my talking here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so this is a very light green. It's called pistachio, or no, yeah, pistachio delight. And so you just really, I mean, that's fine. You just lay it in there and then you kind of fill in that gap, but you could make it a little fatter. <coughs> It really, it's so, it's so easy. I felt bad to make a fuss about it. It was really, it was just kind of a little extra silly thing that I threw into the craft club for the girls. So that's how you get your flower on. That's a, probably a medium large one. All right, so I'm gonna lay it here in the pile of eggs to let it dry. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see now why I haven't been doing videos. All right, so let's do it again. So I just did a bunch of purple on here and I have the one that I had a little bit of pink on already so you can see what that's gonna look like. And I really just make them four, sometimes I made five um, little petals, just like that, okay? And then I'll come in here and I'll give this pink one up or this purple one a pink center. So I'm gonna dab that pink in there to make a center. I'd prefer the yellow, but I don't have, um, I gotta go in the other room to get it and I don't want you guys to have to wait on that. It's such a silly little thing. <coughs> so, all right, now let me do the, um, the leaf. I'm trying to make it so where you can see, but I got, you kinda gotta have your brush a little bit pointy to do a leaf. Um, like that and you just kind of squiggle it and since it didn't point very good I'm gonna pull it the other way. So there can you can you guys see that? Let's see I'm trying to get my iPad to Tell me what you guys are saying It's so stinging slow. I See there's only four comments, so um, Yeah, I can't it's it's not even coming up, so I don't know what's going on with it. There we go. Hello, there we go. Okay, hey, there's Phyllis and Kathy, hello. Would I like some geese eggs to play with? Are you kidding? How cool would that be? Yeah. Oh, you think, <laughs> thanks Elizabeth. I'll tell you what, I'm just tired of feeling crummy. I'm never, I never feel crummy, so I'm not a very good crummy filler because I'm not used to it. <laughs> My husband's always the sick one, not me. He's kind of, you know, sitting back trying to stay away from me <laughs> he doesn't want to get it all right let's try the blue just for fun this is um frosty morning from our country chic paint line and so i'm just making like a like what would look like a flower petal really rough you guys really really rough four kind of like circly um yeah kind of like that and you can see this is you know this paint is clay based um, it doesn't have any odor to it. It is um, great for furniture painting. <coughs> Dang, right? That just sounds terrible. When I was a little girl, I used to get the croup, and it sounded like a barky cough. I feel like I have an adult croup. You guys probably have never heard of that, but <laughs> I swear I feel like a kid. <laughs> 
Okay, I have to get my vaporizer out from my kids. <laughs> in my room tonight. All right, so there, and I just made a leaf shape. I'm hoping you guys can see this. No one's, you can see it. Oh, good, thanks, Elizabeth. I was just gonna say, no one's commenting one way or the other, so. All right, good. So, um, I didn't, I should have probably reached out to the girls that were asking about this, but there were several. So there's a few of the same thing over and over. So let's try just a little bit smaller one, just to show you, I had some that were wee tiny. So you just, you know, do a little bit smaller dots here is all. And we do it in fours, and I'll show you in a minute with the marker why it doesn't have to be perfect. So it's just kind of sloppy. It's like a loppy, sloppy flower. So there's a dot, I almost can't even see it. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. So there's another one. Oh, that one looks good though. Um, these eggs are cold, they've been in the fridge. Again, these are real eggs that are uncooked, just to show you guys, because I didn't want to go to the trouble of um, cooking them and breaking or blowing them out, and, and or not cooking them, but you know what I'm trying to say when I thought I could just paint these kind of eggs, just I'm just gonna do a handful here. So then you can leave them like this, which this would be like this, or you could add little leaves. Now I painted these, I forgot to tell you that. I painted a lot of them. Here's a purple one that I painted with the larger flower, okay? Um, you can paint them first and let them dry. What I did was, let me show you that part. Um, not that there was any trick to it, but I took, <coughs> let me just show you with an egg. I took the egg and I, I held one end of it and I just painted as much as I could. Okay. Like that. I just painted it out as much as I could. And then I laid it out to dry. And then as soon as it was dry, I picked it up and flipped it over and I held the, the painted end and I finished painting, okay? And then I went in and did a second coat if it needed it. But So that's how I did that. So that's pretty easy. I'm gonna have paint all over Randy's eggs. He's gonna be like, oh, what happened to my eggs? <laughs> I'm not gonna put that one. Ooh, don't fall and break. Oh my gosh, I'd have a mess. So let me put a hair dryer. I'm not sure how long it'll take me. I'll probably cook my eggs with a hair dryer. I'm hoping not. <laughs> You like them painted first? Yes, they're very pretty painted. Um, I did I did most of mine painted and a few just white. Let me see if I can just dry this enough to show you what I do with the marker without cooking my egg. I did this part on a video. If you guys look back at me with the eggs, I did do the marker part already on this page. I didn't do it in the group. Well, I did a few in the group, but I um, came here and did the rest. Yeah, I'm still way too wet, but I don't want to cook my eggs, so I'll just do the best I can here. I'm only going to do one because all the rest of them are too wet. But so in order to make it look you know, like this, I'll show you what I did. And like this, here I mixed my colors together a little bit. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else here? Oh yeah, this one I put a few dots in the middle after I did my color. They're just all a little bit different. If you go back to the still shot and zoom in, you might be able to see them, okay? Hi, Pauline. So all you do is just take your marker and you just kind of outline your petals like that. <laughs> I mean, it's really silly. And then I just did like a few, oh, they're not, it's too wet. Um, I just did like a few marks in it. And then I outlined my, whoops, you can't get that. Um, I outlined my leaf and just draw like a little vein in it. And that's just, that's just it. I can't get into that pink, it's heavy. But, um, but yeah, that's all I did. So see, it's like, it was just a silly little, um, extra you know I have this little craft club where we do um, just some fun little vintage type crafts and things and I have all kinds of things laid out for them to do and um, they watch me I do it in a group and they watch me and then they can do it whenever you know just exactly like we just did here so then they can go cook their eggs or go buy the fake eggs or whatever 
And um, that's how that's how the club works. So anyway, I did this in the club, but I thought I would show you guys since so many of you had questions about my picture. So that's all you had to do. And when you do that, if you paint them first, oh yeah, here's another white one. Um, there's another just one that I just left white. So there's two that are white, this one and this one. And the rest of them, I just painted all different sizes, all different ways. <coughs> different colors, different sizes of flowers. Some I'd added leaves, some I didn't. It's so easy to do. And I, I almost feel, you know, that's why I made it as a little extra bonus in the club because it's silly. <laughs> the silly little thing. It's the silly little things that make you happy, right? So anyway, there you go. There is a quick how-to. And um, if you have any further questions, make sure you message me. I'll show you my project I'm working on now. I got, I'm, this isn't a craft club project. This is just a for Tammy project. <laughs> but I found this old board and I've got old keys, old skeleton. This had, this is, couldn't be any more opposite of my pastel eggs, right? <laughs> but this is my, this is my love is old vintage stuff. And so I found this old board and I laid out all my keys, not all my keys, I have a whole mason jar full of these keys, all different sizes. And I was buying all these little tiny keys for belt buckles. You know, we do belt buckles and chocolatory racers um, to display with your boards. And I got this great idea. I think it's really cool looking. And I think it'll look really cool hanging on the wall. But maybe you girls can help me. Hang on a minute, let me grab you my, let me grab my nails. So I have this huge bucket full of these old nails that this um, all an older fella passed away and his son was letting me go through all of this stuff. And I took this bucket of these awesome nails. I think they're, I don't know what they are. They might be like, I'm thinking a roofing nail maybe. <coughs> I don't know, but they're all rusty and yummy. And my thought was when I was dreaming this up was I was gonna put the nail in and then hang the keys from the nails but the heads are so big that I feel like <coughs> it might take away from the keys, especially those tiny little keys. So then I thought about putting them, using them, and then cutting the heads off of some of them. I don't know, I know I can't hot glue them <coughs> because they won't stay. So I don't know if you guys have any ideas. If you do, post them in here or message me if you, you know, if you, a lot of people, don't like to comment, but you can just message me privately if you have any ideas. But I was just gonna drill, use my drill, and you know, like use a marker and mark all, all of where I want the, the keys to go, the holes, and then try to figure out these, and I might take some of them out. I might have a snap too many, and I don't know. I'm thinking they'll hang at an angle, some of them. I love this one on this old ring. I have some really cool ones that I love. Look how pretty this little one is so pretty. I just love old keys, and look at this one. This one's really pretty. I'm not sure how old it is, but I love the trim around the top of it. And this key is a screwdriver. Check that out, isn't that cool? I love all this old stuff. You guys just, well, some of you guys know me enough from here to know that, but I have so many neat keys. I just think they're really cool. So most of my keys are these regular skeleton keys, and I didn't put very many on there because those are a dime a dozen, but, well, they're not really a dime. They're more like, sometimes they're like six bucks a piece. It's crazy. So, yeah, I don't I don't pay that much a piece unless they're awesome. Look at this one. I have no idea what, you guys might know what that's for, but it's got a groove in it. Can you, I don't know if you can see that groove in it or not. I'm gonna say that goes down. I think that goes face down, I don't know. But anyway, I think I've got some really cool looking keys and I thought it would be fun to display them and hang them on my wall. But I don't know how to get my keys on my board without, like I wanna show off the keys, not the nails. So I'm thinking I may use a few of these, you know, maybe just sporadically, where, like on the big ones so that it'll look okay. What's a U nail, Terry? What's a U nail? Is it like a U? <laughs> And it goes, but are they that small? I'm picturing like for pipe, like gas pipe or something, and they mount a pipe to the wall. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to see that U. Oh gosh, that would be a great idea if it fit this key. That would be awesome. 
Gosh, Terry, I'd love to know what that is. My husband's not here right now or I would ask him. But yeah, I'm curious about that. I might have to stop at the hardware store and find out. But anyway, so I'll, I'll keep you uh, in tune. <laughs> I'll keep you up to date with this and how it turns out and if I end up using all of these keys or, I don't know, I might have overkill. I might have too many, but they fit so nice. I just kept adding. I just love, oh my gosh, and look at these two little old rusty ones on a ring. I love them. Love them. So anyway, there you go. So are my these aren't any drier. I thought maybe I'd show you one more before I left for anybody that joined late. The shape of a U, not sure how tiny. Okay, I will, Terry. Thank you for that idea. Let me um, blow dry this. It's almost dry. The eggs are so cold from being in the fridge, they're not wanting to dry. Oh, yeah, it's still wet, but I, I might be able to show you a little bit. So you saw how I painted this on. It was super easy. Okay, so then I, it is still wet, but I'll just show you. So you just kind of, you know, do it however, wherever it's wet. I don't want to get into that. Um, but you just make marks in it, and then you can outline your center. You can put some dots in the middle if you want to. Then you out, outline your, um, your leaf and do a squiggly up the middle. And there you go. There you go. I don't think my craft club girls will mind if I share this with you because it was, like I said, it was just an extra. Maybe you could make your, make my own you. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> I might, I'm. These, not with these, I can't. I'm not that handy. <laughs> I'm not that handy, Terry. <laughs> so, make your own out of heavy wire. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I wouldn't trust myself to have them nice enough, you know? I think they'd be crinkly and not so great. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try it. I'll see what they have. Maybe my husband will have a good idea. I really like the board. It's all hacked up and awesome. So I love the board. Oh, I look like a ghost again there so yeah I love the board and I love the keys and I like how I have them placed but I can might wait for him and ha help me finish it so I don't ruin it <laughs> I tend to get excited and then I do something then I regret it so I'll just wait for him but I'll show you when it's all done and then I got to figure out where I'm going to put it once I get it done maybe it'd be better and take up less space if I turned them and went vertically I don't know. I'm just messing. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go color yourself some eggs or paint yourself some eggs. And um, let me see them when you're all done. I'd love to see what you, uh, what you come up with. And I think I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to go do some coughing. Because <laughs> obviously I'm going to, right? So I'll see you all later. Have a great night. Bye.